Dear students, we have started discussing the Microsoft PowerPoint and in the previous module we have learned that why we need uh, such kind of presentation software and we have also learned the similarities between Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Word. So today we will start discussing the new things uh, in which are which were not part of Microsoft Word and have been added in Microsoft PowerPoint to actually enhance the presentation styles. So in this module, we will be focusing on uh, slides group on home ribbon and the topics we will cover are the new slide, layout, reset and sections. So let's start the practical. So we have the same uh, slide from the previous uh, module in which we have mentioned ITC and at virtual university. So we are focusing in this module, uh, this slides group and this slide group has a number of options like new slide, uh, then slide layout, then we have the reset button and then we have sections button. So let's try to explore each and everything one by one. So here is one slide which we already have. So if I want to add a new slide, I can click on it. The new slide will be added. But if I uh, want to click on this drop down uh, menu button, so I can see number of options that what kind of slide I want to add. So for example, I say, okay, I need such kind of slide. So such kind of slide would mean that it has a title at the top, like ITC. It has some title at here, for example, virtual university, then MIT university, and then you can add some pictures, some lists, anything over here, and you can add some charts or anything over here. So you can see that the template has been adjusted according to our needs and whenever I want to uh, uh, execute this file I will go over here and will click on this slide show button or alternatively I can press F5 so this will be shown so this was our first slide second one was empty and third one was like this which have a comparison layout where we have uh, on the top of a title and small titles below that main title and then two pictures we wanted to add. So such kind of multiple layouts we can add. You can see over here. We can also uh, select for example any layout using this button as well. Like I want to change the layout of this screen as well. So I have changed. So I say, okay, I need again uh, some line graph over here, all right, uh, some area graph over here and some title, Pakistan, for example, we see universities and colleges so now you can see that when i press f5 it comes at the main slide next slide next slide it can be next by pressing only the next arrow button so we learn about new slide the effects then there is a button known as reset it reset the position size and formatting of the slide placeholder. So for example, if we are here and by mistake, you have changed its position. And now you are not understanding where it should be placed somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere here. So you are confused. So just leave it where it was. Go to this reset button and click this. So it will be reset where it was in the original template. Then you have uh, multiple slides. So for example, this is one slide. You can copy this slide. You can paste this slide. So these are two slides now. Um, 
Similarly, you can also click on duplicate slide. So both slides contain the same content. So then you want to add a uh, section. So for example, these two slides are uh, talking about Pakistan and these two slides are talking about ITC. So let's say we come over here and say add a section and we say it is basically uh, one of the section. We can rename it like Pakistan and by clicking over here then we can add another section and rename right click rename ITC. So these sections are not going to be displayed over here. So these sections are just for you to uh, understand that uh, the uh, you have added all of the slides related to Pakistan over here, ITC over here and so on. So it is just to organize your thoughts and your slides. So we have learned this slide group in this module. So let's conclude today's module. We have started to learn Microsoft PowerPoint and it's really exciting that whatever we wanted to add on the slides, it was really impressive and was able to show the readers into form of different uh, graphs and different pictures and we have also learned that there are different layouts which are possible and how to add sections and how to reset the positions of any placeholder in the pre-compiled uh, templates. So in the next module we will be moving forward to other exciting options in Microsoft PowerPoint.